Welcome back, everybody. You got Will and I'm in here from the Block Runner Metazone, Rovi and Mscribe, and today we got some more runes domination. The last runes. The, the, the last, last runes conversation we're ever gonna have, dude. Is it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but the last one before the happening, right? So by the time this video goes yeah. out, maybe the happening had already occurred. Probably not, or it's like literally hours away, most likely. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So it's like fuck. The, the, it's actually happening, lads. Everything we've been talking about for the last few months in anticipation of man, the, runes. this last four months went by f so fast. I know. Since the beginning of the year. Yeah. Pretty quickly, <laughs> but we're here, dude. And uh, look, Frank the Gods speaking. Runes are oh, a scam. Yeah. Just confirmed. <laughs> so it's confirmed. Uh, it's yeah. been decreed by Frank. So everybody's talking about it right now, right? Yeah. Not just Bitcoiners, not just Ordino OGs, not just whatever the fucks. All of us, you know, um, are us. Yeah. The, the ones who've been here for the last year and a half. Yeah, probably. I guess. I guess if you're in crypto, you've probably heard of runes by now, just because everybody's talking about it. Yeah, and I think, like, so we've been asking this for, for a while now. We do, like, our Ordinal takeover videos. Like, dude, there's so much shit happening on Bitcoin. Ordinals are, I feel like it's more than a proof of concept at this yeah. point. Why is the rest of crypto not paying attention? Remember? Well, like, they're, they're paying attention now, right? They're paying attention to something that hasn't even, like, deployed yet, which is the most interesting facet of all this. Like, so. I think everyone interprets this as an opportunity. That's why. Well, also, yeah, the pre-rune um, activities has done a lot as far as captivating attention, right? Runestone hitting close to a billion dollar valuation and stuff like that, you mm. know, t tickling the teats of uh, <laughs> crypto punks. As they do. <laughs> yeah, teasing, <laughs> just teasing the ETH community, right? How could you not notice? How could you not pay attention? Like, what the fuck is runes? Yeah. So it's happening. Here we are. So this is the last pre-runes talk. Let's let's like catch up on the space. And thankfully, we have Delphi Digital. Yeah, Delphi Digital <laughs> finally chiming in on the whole Bitcoin ecosystem. The launch yeah. of the runes protocol is imminent. Only six hundred blocks left. I think today is like four hundred. So yeah. when this post is, I feel like less. Yesterday, dude, way less. Yeah, we're like talking two hundred at this point. Is it two hundred, dude? It's I don't know. We're like. On the, on the tickling the teats, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there, dude. It's happening. All right. Confusion about runes is widespread on crypto Twitter, exacerbated by a myriad of protocols adopting similar names. Let's decipher runes. Um, anything, do, I guess, Delphi Digital, do you have to, like, subscribe to their No, their it's just a thread. Just a little oh, a nice thread. little niece. I mean, they do have a subscription service, which is, like, you know, very expensive because they do like deep dive research and analysis. And, you know, they were very highly involved in the Ethereum cycle mm -hmm. you know, with like GameFi and yeah. all the new emerging sectors of crypto. So, yeah, here they are. Now they're present and they're doing their research on what's going on in Bitcoin. So that if you're not looking for more indicators that Bitcoin is the, the chain to be paying attention to, yeah. here's one, right? So... We have plenty of videos on runes. You could either watch what we've already said, or you could just go through yeah. this tweet thread. Yeah, so this breaks down what are runes, high-level overview. We got uh, runes 0 through 9. So 0 is going to be hard-coded by Rotomore. It's going to be minting over the next 210,000 blocks, which equals four years. So this is actually, um, what's it called? Uh, this is incorrect as of as of late, because Casey announced uh, that yeah, only correct. rune 0 is going to be hard-coded. Yeah, only it. rune 0. So yeah. that one is called Uncommon Goods, and yeah. so four-year minting process. <laughs> yeah, so you can only mint one at a time, one uncommon good per mm. mint. And there's no cost to mint, right? It's, it's basically free and open. But yeah, like you said, it's a four-year. The next, the gap of minting is next happening, essentially. Yeah. That's whenever you can no longer mint this thing. So that's interesting. We did see like a six-month-long minting uh, process for in the BRC20 token space. Mm-hmm. With the Sats token, it actually ended up being one of the more valuable tokens, right? So, like, long yeah. span minting potentially means, like, something of high value. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you're onboarding a massive community. At the end of this four-year cycle, I mean, you might have hundreds of thousands of people mm -hmm. holding this token, right? Yeah. But that's, like, a four-year thing, right? You know, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about this next happening. Yeah, <laughs> if you want some of those runes, just wait till the, the price goes, or the, uh, the fee? fee goes down, and then just get some. Uh, theoretically. You got four years, yeah. right? Just wait till the next dumping, the, the next yeah. pair cycle, and then just scoop them just up. load up, dude, and then wait for the next uh, happening narrative to spin and, up, and, and it's and like, dude. Sell them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the SEC won't care at all. No. These are free. Nobody made money on this, dude. That's right. 
All right, so that's, that's the thread. So let's move on. Yeah. So, All right, moving on. So we got uh, pre runes, market caps. Yeah, everything looks pretty much the same since we've been. I mean, runestone yeah. hovering around the same floor price. Mm -hmm. uh, really, just want to be paying attention to all these pre runes, but I mean, at the very end here, you'll kind of get like a real overview grasp of like actually how tiny all this really is <laughs> as far as like market cap. Yeah. Like it feels like there's like this tremendous pre runes force happening, but it's really pretty miniature yeah. to be honest. Yeah. So this is the last 30 days here. Yeah. So yeah, usual actors doing their thing, runes, no more pre runes after this video. That's for sure. Danny Yang talking about uncommon runes. Uh, the number one open, Number one is open to anyone in less than two days. The Bitcoin having block and following runes mints are going to be uh, mind blowing. The market will have a new appreciation for ordinal inscriptions and 10K collections when Bitcoin fees are high. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All, all runes is going to do is just get everyone's exposure to ordinals and just, just the Bitcoin ecosystem in general. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot happening outside of runes. A lot. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I mean, runes are going to be interesting, but, uh, but yeah, just pay attention to everything else that's going on in ordinals as well. Yeah, and so Leonisis, if you still hold a runestone, be ready for a a the dog airdrop after the happening. What do you think about this, dude? It's, it's a dog riding a runestone. <laughs> you but don't think this is going to be the number one banger meme of all time? I guess it could be. It's on Bitcoin. Why not, right? Well, that's the thesis, right? So now we're getting into like, what is the thesis behind? Man, there's a whole runes. meme philosophy or psychology out there that is really hard to decipher. Like, uh, yeah. like it's like grassroots and then it's like uh, forced by the cabal. Yeah. Like there's all kinds of like narratives that force a meme, but they end up not working out. Like yeah. it's weird. It is weird. Yeah. Once, once the runes actually happens. So just kind of set your expectations as like a, a, a beginning period where nothing is really going to make any sense. Mm hmm. You know, yeah, memes are going to just kind of like try and be the disruptive force as far as like what, what you should be allocating your attention and resources to. But eventually that's all going to settle down and die down and people are going to be like, you know, try to identify something with substance, right? Mm -hmm. well, how do we know this? Because we were there when BRC20s launched. So this could be very similar, I think, Yeah. as far as like rollout, such, such and such. All right. Congratulations to Leonidas raising $2 million for Ord.io at a pre-seed round. Yeah, dude. So all that runestone activity, dude, definitely caught the eyes of some yeah. VC. So Sora Ventures, yeah. Bitcoin Frontier Fund. Quite a lot. This is quite the uh, docket of yeah. uh, a bunch of angels. Venture capitalists. So what do you think about that? Dude? What do you think the uh I mean the ethos in like Bitcoin community specifically is like VCs equal bad news, right? Yeah, I, I disagree with that. I don't think that's <laughs> all bad. I do too. Yeah, I mean, Leonidas, he did this this whole thing with the runestones was, like, fair and free, right? Like, he, they yeah. paid with the for the airdrop distribution through community source funds. So, yeah, I mean, if you think this whole meme thing is the only value component to a runestone, I mean, eventually that dries out, right? So, if there's any chance of, like, them figuring out some long-term long play for the mm -hmm. runestone ecosystem, they're going to need funding. Yeah, you need right? capital to build some stuff, right? So yeah, hire some devs. You know, yeah. bring on some more biz dev influencer type folk. But we can't ignore that there. this comes with, you know, some level of risk for outside um, uh, community members trying to buy a token if there is one, right? Because that token is also being purchased by all these individuals and they hold this token and they're going to eventually sell that token at some point, right? So that is why they have, it has like this negative connotation amongst some community members. Well, but up until what we've heard so far, everything is just going to be airdropped. Like, well, yeah, I'm just saying in general, right? Oh, I see. Raising funds means these investors are buying tokens, mm -hmm. and then they're eventually going to want that liquidity back. Possibly, yeah. T typically, yeah, VCs are expecting an ROI of some sort, so they, they're getting access to something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right before the market. But anyways, moving on, All let's right. talk about another major rune project, Arsic. I don't know, Arsic is just kind of like... I know you haven't been paying attention much, but Arsic has been doing all kinds of weird shit. Like what? Like this, dude. Is it, oh, look at all these child inscriptions. That isn't like tantalizing oh, uh, I mean, in any way. Yeah, I mean, I remember that was part of the design that they were going to do it. Well, those like are that. the foundries, but now these are like different, you know. Okay, so if you remember, we had zero to nine Arsic distribution centers. Now yeah. we have zero to nine runes. 
Our sick show must go on. Well, that's it. It's very cryptic, right? Nobody really knows. I'm assuming this means some some sort of like, um, you know, our sick has been a pretty successful like uh, mining mechanism. Yeah. Like a token yield generation sure. uh, device. Well, why not extend that and like indefinitely for different rune token productions? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Basically, they gamified the inputs and outputs of a transaction. Mm. And whenever you receive the Narsic, you have to send it to yourself. That mm-hmm, activates mm-hmm. the mining. Yeah. And then you're going to be mining runes tokens. And so I think there's like uh, 10 um, distribution centers. And I guess they're going to be distributing 10 different runes. Interesting. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, as far as like runes project goes, pre-rune projects, Narsic is definitely one of the more interesting ones. That they're, yeah. For, for, for one, they're always going to have that. Like they were the first one to come up with the pre-rune play, right? The meta. Mm-hmm. And there's like a lot of like different um, follow up attempts and stuff, but yeah, uh, I'm actually very excited. I don't hold any R6 at all. I w- really wish I did, yeah, <laughs> because I just to have skin in the game so I could like really follow along and pay attention to like what they're doing. But they're making moves, dude. If I were to like put my bet, place my bet on any of these like rune plays, I think it'd be Arsic. Mm-hmm. just because they seem like they have some technical ability, right, to do something interesting. Yeah, so they're trading at 0. 0.069 Bitcoin, just one and a half days left. Launching as the premier stake land project, team ramping up comms, speculation of further utility, post happening, and has been very strong. Get your popcorn ready. Mm. Okay, so yeah, more uh, pumping here for our sake. <laughs> well, it makes sense though, because I mean, you would expect Arsic to have zero value at this point, right? A day before happening, like there's yeah, no point. There's no more tokens really to be mined. So why are they still trading at thousands of dollars for for, yeah. for machine? Yeah. Why? What's your assessment on that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Get the last last drops. No, dude, there's no way because the drops that are left are worth probably potentially less than like the actual device. So it's just speculation. I think. I think people are expecting again like a future application. It functions as an app, right? Why, why can't you extend this indefinitely? I mean, you for other purposes. Could. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, the the mining of runes is not a pre-rune only strategy. Correct. It is yeah. a future rune strategy as well. Yeah, runes are it's it's a fungible token genesis protocol, right? The, this protocol is always going to be open. It's always going to be pumping out runes. Yeah. So figuring out new, neat, and clever ways of like implementing new logic structures, and right, right. different distribution models, gamification, all these things, it can be applied in different ways. So yeah, it makes sense to kind of like leverage something that already exists. It yeah, I mean, apply if, different if, models to if it. you're a gamer, you're kind of used to grinding. And so this is like grinding at the crypto level. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty much. And also there's another thing, this whole pooling mechanism. I think the community came up with their own initiative to like, Let's pull our R6 together, lads. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's smart. Yeah, it's an indication of like a community that's actually aligned because I think more than 50% have actually gone through with this. Yeah, so how to pull your R6 together. So there's like a process here. Um, do not move your R6. And uh, use Luminex. A pulling token is a generative art piece from renowned artist. Mm-hmm. And then make sure the pulling token is the same as the wallet participating in the R6. Yeah, so this whole tweet thread kind of explains. I, I, it's pretty much useless information at this point because, again, by the time this video goes out, it's too late. <laughs> so, yeah. But still, it's good to know what's going on in the R6 ecosystem because uh, it's. I think it's going to be one of the bigger, uh, bigger runes to pay attention to. Post-runes era. Yeah, you want to know who else is participating in the runes mania or at least ordinals to some extent is CyberKongs. Yeah, man, I ever heard, of, man, I remember these guys. Yeah. Like, don't you? Yeah, I, I remember them. Remember they were, like, cooking up a game. Like, they had, like, a presence in Sandbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're talking, like, years ago. <laughs> Whenever, yeah. like, uh... It was, like, 2021. 2021, 2022 time, time frame was, like, you know, NFT PFPs were a thing. Yeah, these guys with their bananas, they were, like, one of the first to be, like, you know, PFPs, gaming, game yeah. tokens, you know? Right. It makes, you know, combined, guys. Yeah. avatars, know? all that. All this shit. So now here they are. It's like, dude... I, I like this rune stuff. We're in. Yeah. yeah. Almost three years ago, we changed the Ethereum NFT landscape for by pioneering the combination of ERC721 and ERC20. Mm. The launch of Banana set the standard utility of the Web3 space, paving the way for setting the playbook for many projects. Soon we embark on a new endeavor true to our values of technological innovation, experimentation, and storytelling. So they, they took a play out of like the, you know, the how to uh, generate 
some hype in Ordinal's playbook. Mm-hmm. It's just you know let's 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 they like the airdrops over there, and they created an arbitrary list of like you know who yeah. should qualify to receive these, and they and then they like emb- they created like this super expensive three dimensional art just like Runestone yeah. did, and we're distributing to you guys. You know, good play, good play. Yeah, yeah. So here's that list. Um, Arsic, I see Runestone here. But unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, I've been reading the comments. On chain monkeys isn't on the list, which is shocking, considering they were the first like Ethereum, yeah, NFT project to migrate to Ordinal space and contribute to a lot of like the uh, primitive technology yeah. infrastructure that this project is leveraging. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it is a little weird. Yeah, uh, but yeah, a lot of this like decision making is based on there's twenty one thousand of these, and that's a very small supply ish. And you have to airdrop all these. You have to pay for every single transaction. So it's very expensive to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not very sustainable. And not everybody can make the cut. Yeah, n- you can, yeah, not everybody. And, and, of course, it's completely arbitrary. Like, yeah. who knows whose palms got greased in order to, like, get on this list. Exactly. You know, it's politics, bro. It's yeah. politics. All right. Finally, um, we got a Rune Blaster, a tool for batch minting runes in a highly cost-effective manner, fully non-custodial. Batch mint with up to 25 chained transactions receive minted runes. Mm. So basically, this is like what you would expect from like a you know fully mature ecosystem where you can yeah. you can mint not just one mint of a thousand runes. It's like let's do 25 of those mints. Yeah, but let's be clear because you know we haven't really talked about this much in our runes videos. Is like there's something a lot of you DJs who are like entering into this space aren't aware of. Like this is not like your typical Solana meme run or your typical Ethereum meme run. This is different infrastructure. Bitcoin yeah. is critically different than every other chain you've ever interfaced with, right? So yeah. there's a management process here that you're not familiar with. And a lot of these influencer types out there on Twitter who are telling you to like go participate in runes, they're not informing you and educating you on the technical process of that, right? Yeah. So I think we have a tweet here. It says, you most likely won't need a node to mint, but it's probably still good to have it. And uh, understand UTXOs. Uh, child pay uh, for parent and RBF, which is um, replaced by fee, consolidated splitting UTXOs, you'll probably need it. So what what the hell is all that? <laughs> yeah, for real. And You're speaking a different language to me, dude. Literally. Yeah, so ultimately, like, it, it explains here that essentially one rune mint transactions at least 12,000 sats with a f- at a fee rate of 100 sats per V-byte. So this is a low, cons- like, a very conservative estimate of, like, the yeah. actual... Sats mm-hmm. per V byte mm-hmm. during the mania, so I'm preparing for a V byte of 500. So why do you need to do this? Like, what, what's actually why? Why is he considering this whole game plan? Mm. I need to like break things up into individual, you know. So, th- so think of uh, UTXOs as it, it stands for unspent transaction outputs. Essentially, a UTXO is like saying, I have a thousand dollar bill, right? Mm-hmm. It's 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 a one thousand dollar United States oil money, right, mm-hmm. in my hand. And when I go spend it, I need to spend that full thousand dollar bill. Like somebody wants ten bucks to for, yeah. for a mint, or I need to buy some some gum. Okay, I need it. so Talk, it's like fifty yeah. cents, yeah, or a two dollars wherever you're, you're at, right? <laughs> yeah, so right. this is the two dollars, right? I got to spend the full thousand. So yeah, in the time that I hand it over to the cashier, they hold the UTXO. All thousand bucks. All thousand. They have. And it. he's like, well, he has a thousand dollars. And, and he he's, got nothing. And they're counting like, okay, I need to give you nine hundred ninety eight dollars back. So I'm I'm making the counts. Yeah. And so you don't have a thousand dollars anymore. You gotta wait for that nine hundred ninety eight dollars to come back. And remember, this is Bitcoin wait. So this yeah. is like real waiting. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't like wait a couple of seconds and you'll get it back. Yeah. This is like fuck. You're you're left without funds for a significant amount of time. Yeah. And in 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 bull market scenarios like that time is money. Yeah, so if you're trying to buy multiple gums at the same time, <laughs> yeah, because you know, you got to well, wait for the money to come back and then spend it again. Yeah, you might miss out on the gum that, you know, 100x is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> As gums or that do. that tastes really good. It's that euphoric gum, Yeah, you know. <laughs> you don't want to miss out on that, dude. That, right. That. So so the proper way is like, well, if I want to buy 10 different gums for 10 different people, I need yeah. to actually split my money down or split my UTXOs into different UTXOs. Yes, and uh, allocate um, proper fundage. Uh, again, this is why this tweet, he's breaking down scenarios based on 100 sats per V-byte is a conservative scenario, like in a bull market, especially yeah. in relation to runes, because the main activity people are going to be engaged in is minting, right? 
Yeah. You know, that, you know, that's just essentially, there's no smart contracts here, but there's etching is happening, which is basically like a token deployment. Yeah. You're basically setting a max mint, how yeah. many mints per Those transaction, the, correct, a ticker, ticker, all that. So with that, you're going to be able to interact with these like front end service providers. It's like, you know what? I want a batch mint of, of this thing that everybody's talking about. Yeah. So that's going to be your activity, right? It's like, I want to mint, I want to mint. But again, yeah, if you don't do this management process correctly, yeah. That first time you mint, yeah, you're going to be able to do it. But it's like, I know what? I want a second batch. But yeah. it's like, oh, sorry, uh, insufficient balance, lad. It's like, wait a minute. I have like <laughs> 10 grand in my wallet. What do not, you mean insufficient? Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> At least not for a while, dude, until yeah. it comes back to you. So, yeah, that was like an ugly thing we had to kind of like be encountered with a year or so ago whenever we first got involved mm-hmm. in this like Bitcoin yeah. space. I didn't even know this is what it was like on Bitcoin. I was like yeah. shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, couldn't believe like this. It, yeah. So Bitcoin kind of works like f- like non-fungible tokens. Yeah. It, it's it's an entire asset that you're spending and you're getting it's called change. You're yeah. getting the return back. Yeah, and then Casey Rodimer with this protocol, he's he's leveraging that same mechanism instead of like the uh account based. Yeah, account based. So it's like it, it's it functions just as Bitcoin does whenever you're yeah, you know, executing on these these transfer functions between these different rune tokens. So that means that when you mint to this particular rune, you are spending a UTXO and you're getting change back, but there's a UTXO that you're getting that represents that rune value. Correct. Yeah. And so, uh, and so the other kind of scary thing about this, if you're interfacing with some website that has implemented runes and they've implemented it incorrectly, you're, there's a chance that all your runes that you've minted or the, the at least the type of runes that you've minted are all going to get burnt Yeah. because of a bad implementation. It's called Cenotaph. Mm. And so you, you got to, if you're going to be interfacing with some website, you got to trust that website that they don't, they, yeah. they implemented it correctly. <clears throat> yeah. So there's, so, so there's some research to do guys. If you guys are actually going to ape in into the runes space. So we're not advocating you do or you don't. I mean, it's Bitcoin. Everything is interesting. It's worth like paying attention to nonetheless. You know, that's what we've been doing for the last year and a half since like ordinals. And we've been thoroughly entertained along the way. Yep. So I think runes is also going to be very entertaining. Right. So there's no reason not to pay attention at least. Yeah. There's tons of more eyeballs looking yeah. at runes than there were back in 2023, yeah. March timeframe for BRC 20. Correct. And if, and if you're new to this space and ecosystem is like quickly, you're going to find out and learn i think that this cycle is going to be mostly about bitcoin like it already kind of is with the whole etf thing yeah and you know B- bitcoin just is the darling of the moment just on its standalone but like the ecosystem that's kind of emerging within it this is the first of its kind in relation to bitcoin the first time this has ever happened to bitcoin yeah right so that that in itself is like already like radically interesting yeah we interviewed eden um that video is going to be out on Saturday and uh, he's from Sovereign mm-hmm. and he's talking about how Bitcoin is essentially going to be the main chain for all interactions <laughs> yeah. in, in the future. And so, so if you want to understand how that's going to happen, <laughs> definitely yeah. watch that. But it's been our bull thesis for a year now. It's like, you know, everything is going to kind of center around Bitcoin this cycle for many reasons. And uh, I mean, how can you not know that cyber Kongs is talking about <laughs> ordinals and runes? That's the, ma- that's the inflection point right there. Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is critical mass. That's how you know. <laughs> that is how you know. So let's get the quick overview. You were just looking at the last tweet here. This of, Oh yeah. Beto. Even though there's like a feeling of like, man, this is already overhyped and it's like, you know, it's over already. Pre runes was enough. Hmm. Kind of feels like that at, at times, but I mean, in context of this, like this is, yeah, still nothing. This is peanuts, peanut zone, dude. Yeah, we're talking about <laughs> Arsic being so innovative, eighty-six million. Yeah, this yeah. So, so remember, these are the ordinals. Yeah, these are the pre runes that that represent an allocation of a fungible token called runes. Yeah, and right. a lot, there's a lot of these, and nobody knows how which of these are actually going to be able to execute down the line. Whether or not they promised airdrops and such. Yeah. Whether they have the funds to execute on that. Whether they know what they're doing. Like you Correct. Can't, you can't really know that. Yeah. So, But this is all we have right now to kind of like gauge our perspective on like what runes is yeah. right now, as of right now. So, yeah, I mean, final talking points. It's like, uh, are you, what, do you, what do we expect? I, I'm expecting something similar to BRC20s again, which only not, not from like the uh, energy in the room perspective. 
VR yeah, because that's exceeded already. Already. Yeah. But more so from like a, what's actually rolled out as a result of this protocol. Mm-hmm. It's like back in BRC20s, it was like, you know, if it was it felt very exciting. It's like, holy shit, like shit coins on Bitcoin. Dude, this is so cool and fun and my numbers are going up. Yeah. It's going to feel a lot like that. Yeah. But then you like quickly is like people like us, we're spending our time. It's like, all right, now that we have all these shit coins to kind of like do research on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see which of them are actually doing something interesting, right? Because we come from Ethereum where there's a lot of interesting plays going on over there. Right, right. And then we quickly realize, like, holy shit, there's like there's nothing going on. <laughs> there's none of these are doing anything interesting. Yeah. So at some point, that's what's going to happen for runes. It's going to be like, wow, this is all really stupid, guys. Yeah. So be aware of that. I don't know when that like mass realization will hit, yeah. but it's going to hit at some yeah. point. Yeah. That's the tough thing in a, on crypto Twitter. It's going to be like euphoria every single day. Everyone's a genius yeah. <laughs> for being able to spend, you know, $2,000 for a single mint. Yeah. But then uh, eventually it calms down and then you realize you're not a genius. <coughs> That's right. So at that point, it's like, damn, dude, what do I do with all my, you know, uh, my winnings <laughs> from my number go up where everybody was like a mass delusional state. It was yeah. like thinking this was like some actual technical paradigm like now we've unlocked like a real use case for blockchain that's not what this is yeah, no. but but you're gonna feel like that's what's happening and yeah. your, your your balances your your bitcoin balance is gonna make you think that's what you kind of like stumbled into yeah but then it's like now what do i do with all this right yeah go go buy some pfps dude <laughs> well go explore what the rest of the bitcoin ecosystem is actually up to is, is my point and that's yeah. what we're going to be focused on and if that emerges out of this runes ecosystem, then that's what we're going to find. Yeah. Right. Cause that's what we're actively looking for. I mean, we're, we're noticing, noticing all the other stuff happening, but we're really looking for fundamental value. And if it emerges in runes, then fuck. Yeah. yeah well, we're going to definitely we're, let you guys know about we're it. We're going to cover it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for us. If uh, we miss anything, let us know in the comment section below. And if you have any questions, let us know as well. Appreciate you guys for watching, and we will catch you in the next video. And happy happening day, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Hoddle, dude. Peace, hoddle. See that?